Hello viewers, we'll be going over Gush and Drip, so let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1R chart for Gush. We remain in positive MACD and we're off of overbought levels with the RSI and we're resting right above the 50 moving average, the ZL line, at the price of $42.53. As we extend out to the 4R chart, we remain in positive MACD seeing signs of a diverge there and we're still near overbought levels with the RSI. As we extend that to the daily chart, we remain in positive MACD and nearing overbought levels with the daily RSI. As for resistance, we do need to see the volume to decrease to find a resistance level. But as for now, we have a support since we close above the 200-day moving average as that coincide with the 9-day moving average, the green and blue lines respectively. And that is around the price of $39.06. And if we were to test that support level, that price movement to the downside is roughly around 8.9%. And now let's examine drip. On Friday, it closed close above 4.1%. And on the one hour chart, we remain in negative MACD and we're off of oversold levels with the RSI. As for the four hour chart, what we have here is we still remain in negative MACD, seeing sideways action there and still nearing oversold levels. If we extend that once more onto the daily chart, we see the same action, negative MACD, and at oversold condition with the daily RSI. As for support, it is difficult to find since we continue to make lower lows and lower highs. But as for resistance, that will be the 9-day moving average, this blue line as I coincide with the lows and support that dated back to November 24th. Since we're below support, that now act as our resistance, and that is around the price of $27.87. If we were to test that resistance, that price movement to the upside is roughly around, say, 14.7%. And thank you for watching.